So I was watching a uh, video on Terminator, uh, not the movie, but uh, the application, and there was this cool feature called, uh, I think it's maximizing, and you can uh, unmaximize it. And you know, I looked it at, up in in Tmux, and th there wasn't any feature that was built into it. But um, there's actually this code that you can put into your, you know, your Tmux uh, configurations. Um, and this is what it is here. Make sure you unbuy any keys that you know you want to use, right? Uh, but basically, I'm using this, um, you know, curly braces here or curly brackets. Uh, you need two of them. So one is to maximize it, and the other one is unmaximize it. And this is the code, right? Anyways, let me demo out how it works here. Let's say you have three panes like I have here, like one, two, and then three here, right? Um, and you know like right here down here my vim here you know when I'm looking at my vim uh, I still want to keep my layout I want three of them but when I'm doing work or something uh, down here I want to maximize this so I can see everything right so when you maximize it it will look like this and when you're done just go back to your original layout you know and you can do this with um, any pane that you have in here so if I go over here I want to maximize this yeah, maximize it, and when I'm done, back to normal. Up here, I do maximize it, and um, you know, unmaximize it. Uh, so that's how it works with the code, and this is how it works with um, what it does, though. Okay, so you see that in the bottom here, I have um, home, or like you know, one window here and another one from my recording. So when you break it off, let's say for example this one. Um, what it does is it creates a new one, right? Number three here, and it's just called Tmux Zoom. And once you're done, uh, bring it back, and that thing is uh, they get rid of it. So that's basically how it works. It's not perfect because you can only do it like at um, uh, you know one pane at a time. You can't do like multiple panes at a time, right? So use it uh, for one pane, and then after you're done with it, you know you merge it back, and then use it for a different one. Otherwise, it'll be messy. Anyways, um, that's the code. I'll post it in the description somewhere. And, and a reminder again, uh, bind it to the keys that you want to use. I just personally like to use these uh, curly brackets, right? So you need two of them. That'll be it for this one.